Hey, welcome to Blue Tusker's how to videos. In this tutorial, we will walk you through how to create an Amazon listing variation on Amazon Seller Central. In creating a variation in Amazon Seller Central, you can either have different listings for each variation or you can combine those listings to create a variation listing. In creating a variation listing, you need to have a parent and a child listing. The child listing is an individual listing for each variation. This means that this is a physical product. The parent listing, on the other hand, is the one that holds all of the child listings together. In this way, your buyer will have an option to select different variations by just viewing one listing. Now, let me show you how you do this on Amazon Seller Central. Let's start by logging in to Amazon Seller Central. That's sellercentral.amazon.com. Click the login button on top and enter your email or your phone number and the password of your Amazon Seller account. Then click the sign in button. The first thing that we need to do is to add a product. Click the menu icon located on the top left of the page. On the drop down, hover your mouse over the catalog and select Add Products. The next thing that we need to do is to select a category. What we need to do is to select I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon since in this example we are doing a whole new product search for the category of your product in the search field and select the best result for this example i'm doing a t-shirt so i'll search for my category and i'll select the ones that suit best for my category the first part is going to be the product identity Select if the product has variation or not. So since we have one, then let's select yes. Add the item name and the brand name. Then click the continue button at the lower right. As you can see that the tabs have red notices. This meant that there are required fields in that tab that needs to be filled. Let's go through it one by one. The Vital Information tab is where you can indicate the basic description. Fill in all the fields, provide a text description of a product, add a brief descriptive text on the bullet point, and click the Add More link if you have more to add. You'll see this information directly under or next to your product photo. Since this is a shirt, you can specify the color style. Indicate the model number if there is any and add the model name for this is a required field. We will skip the offer tab since we'll be having variations for this. Product details. So this is where you can specify additional details for a product. This is for your customer to find your product better. Since what we have are shirts, then we'll be specifying details that are related to clothing apparel. In this example, we will be filling out all the required fields so we'll have style, department name, target gender, age range description, fabric type, item name type, fit type, and care instructions. Make sure that you place the correct information so that your customers can easily find your listing. There is an option where the buyer can filter out the results. The product details that you specify in this tab will ensure that you're getting the correct customers. To make their purchasing selections, buyers rely on vendors. Product detail pages contain data that is provided by both Amazon and merchants. So safety and compliance is where you'll be specifying the country. Please fill in all of the fields and specify if there is 
dangerous stuff in the item they are selling. Finally, the variation step. This is where we'll be specifying the variations of your product. Since we're adding different colors and sizes, we will be checking those in the variation type. For this example, we will just specify two colors and two sizes. First, you specify the shirt size. Just select the appropriate size of your shirt that you're listing. Once you've filled in all the fields, click the Add button at the lower right. You should see the variation set right below the size area. Add the second size. For this example, we'll add medium and large sizes. After you've added all of the sizes that you're planning to sell, we will be adding the color. Now that you've added all of the sizes, we will add the color. Type in the color of your shirt in the color field, then click the Add button beside it. It'll automatically add all of those two sizes below. Now that you have all of the variations below, add the offer details. Specify the external product ID, the type, the offering condition type, its price, and quantity. The last one is the image. Add all of the relevant images to your listing. Click the upload image, then look and select the image that you'll be uploading. Do it for other photos. Everything should be all set if there are no other red prompts. Click the Save and Finish button right below to submit the listing for Amazon's approval. It may take 24 to 48 hours for Amazon to approve the listing. You should see a green callout confirming that the listing has been submitted. It should be on Amazon once it's approved and you can then have the sales coming in. So this is how you create an Amazon listing variation with color and size. This works well with shirts, shoes, and any apparel that has those two variations. See you in the next tutorial. Do you like this content? If you do, don't forget to like this video. Click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you'll get notified in our next video.